Ten years ago, I was a Shakespearean actor living in London. When I had an encounter with a wild dolphin called Fungi, when I looked into his eyes, it was as if it was a window into his soul and a reflection into mine. It was a profound exchange. And I found myself really looking at my life and the meaning of my life. And I was looking around me and I was suddenly horrified to see what we're doing to our world. And having seen it, I felt that I couldn't turn away. So from this encounter with Fungi, I gave up acting, decided to give up acting and go on a journey. And I visited many, many tribal peoples around this planet that have deep connection, ancient connection with the whales and dolphins. What I found was that somehow mankind has become totally disconnected from nature and that whales and dolphins are helping us to find that reconnection again. And this is what the work at the Whale Man Foundation is really all about, bringing whales and mankind together to preserve and protect our world. The film that you're about to see is a glimpse into the eyes of the soul. Humanity, are you listening? A new world in the birthing. people are feeling and crying for no reason. Their tears connect them with the sadness of the world. We have stopped worshipping nature and devised gods in our own image. We gave glamour to destruction and beauty to death. But there is a great change coming over all people. The dolphin is a symbol to us of humanity's reconnection with nature and therefore with God. There is a movement of sanctity in the world. Your film comes at the right time. For the first time in history, tribes from all over the planet, linked by a common belief in whale and dolphin legend, are simultaneously coming together to share their wisdom with the world. Eyes of the Soul has been granted the honor to share this ancient, sacred knowledge for the first time on film. There is a story behind those tribal eyes, and the story belongs to us all. To the indigenous people of the world, the coming together of whales and dolphins with humanity is the fulfillment of prophecy.
The Murning tribe of southern Australia are known as the people of the whale. After generations of cultural and social genocide, the Australian government declared the Manning extinct. Their sacred lands were given to another tribe, the Yalata, who in turn had been displaced so their lands at Maralinga could be used for nuclear testing. The Murning believe that at the beginning of time, as the Seven Sisters danced, a mythic whale, Jidera, created the earth and sky, leaving his imprint forever in their whale rock. Over the last 20 years, gradually the Murning have been revisiting their sacred ceremonial sites at the head of the Great Australian Bight, the ancient birthing grounds of the southern right whale. In September 1998, the Murning gathered on the plains of the Nullarbor to learn again their traditional ways and to learn the ways of others. Welcomed by the Murning elders, indigenous people and others from all over the world shared their dreams and stories. Everyone brought gifts of ceremony. Kikosa, the ancient African drum spirit. Roy Littleson, the wisdom of the Hopi. A Macaw grandmother, Alberta Thompson, came from near Bay, a lone voice in her tribe against the slaughter of the friendly grey whale and Siraku Tegria of the Ua tribe came from the Colombian cloud forest to explain through his friend and interpreter, Terence Freitas, that his tribe have decided to commit collective suicide if the Occidental Corporation pursue oil exploration on their sacred lands. Our culture takes care of the earth. We're in we're living right now in a time that's very difficult. It's very dangerous for us being indigenous people in Colombia. Grandmother Patricia brought greetings from the Cherokee. The elders have said this is a time of, as we say in my language, Danilo Wega. It's a time of coming together. And we all say it in each of our different languages. So the blessings here of the whale is more than just the whale. It's a coming together so we save this earth, the planet, and the people. Pua Mahoe shared sacred chants from the Hawaiian Islands. And New Zealand's Maori elder, Pauline Tangiora, the stories of the people of Aotearoa. Together, over seven days, they created a unity rarely experienced by people of so many different cultures. Binding the ceremonies together, the people of Elko Island brought the whale dreaming from the north, connecting everyone through chants and dance.
children of the earth, brothers and sisters in eternity, shake your souls awake. The hour so long waited for, the promised hour has come. Over the dark firmament of suffering humanity is rising the morning star, heralding the day when you will understand that man's most sacred duty is to be man. That is to manifest life, intelligence, truth and love. There is no higher aim, no vaster problem, and you who realize this will break the fetters with which ignorance and fear have bound unconscious humanity. Stand up free, knowing yourselves to be the eternal manifestation of the unmanifest, witnesses of the absolute, and sons and daughters of that great all whom you call God. Last night of the gathering, Terence and Siracu led the final ceremony and celebration. And it makes me very happy to feel the love that's here in this circle. This song is about creation. This song is about birth. This song is about everything together. This is a song that is our very being. That's the heart of our work. It comes from the spirits of the ancestors of our ancestors. This is a song we cannot forget. If we forget this song, the world will end. As we approach the dawn of a new millennium, it is our hope that humanity is ready to begin a new era here on our blue planet, giving up our so-called dominion while taking back our rightful place in the natural order of things. Dolphins and whales are a barometer to the overall health of our planet, for as go the dolphins and whales, so goes all life on Earth. All of us at the Whale Man Foundation are dedicated to preserving and protecting our world, but we can't do it without your help. I hope you'll join me in supporting the Whale Man Foundation. Let your voice be heard. We have the power to make a difference in our world.